Alright, liberal comrades, moderate potentials, and conservative sleeper scum, it's time to continue our quest to free the nation from the arch-conservative nightmare. Oh boy. Less than a day after last video, Jonathan S. Fox released a new version of LCS 4.06.5. What's different? Don't know. Haven't consulted the change log. Could I switch versions? Sure could. And JSF said a saved game should work with the new version. Will I? Nah. If I die, then perhaps. Now I might end up being more reckless in this video, just to increase the odds that I might die. We'll see. Also, some of you wanted more information about the music playing in the background. Check the video description, it's all there and it's all been there since the start of this series. Uh, out of the kindness of my heart, um, I'll name the tracks out loud. One time. So, summer apartments? That's dumb. What we're going to be heading to is... The Morning Express? Ah. We're going to Lauder Park. We're gonna engage in fisticuffs with some bitches. How about that? It's my lawn signs are increasing. I've already got a full point of religion. I think I'll keep going with my random conversations until lawn signs are up at a full point each, and then I'll go ahead and ixnay them. Oh, by the way, I was told encounter warnings basically discourage you from doing something incredibly stupid, like, say, lock picking whenever you're standing in a group of conservatives. You know, it doesn't bother me overly much, but I figure out the fucking kindness of my heart to myself. <laughs> I'll go ahead and enable that as I tend to be distracted whenever I do live recordings of things. Also, this 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 power to just press S and uh, have it yourself an encounter right in front of you is sweet. Also, here's an offer: your books are dumb. Fucking pussy hit me. <laughs> See. Not gonna let you hit me again! Writing bullshit conservative propaganda didn't prepare you for this, did it? <laughs> My work here is done. Away! Just casually chat with these folks. So, uh, what is the value of law, science, and religion? Religion has the least value. I'm pretty sure it's the least valuable skill in the entire game. I think it only comes into effect when you're trying to enlighten uh, conservatives in the hopes of, you know, them joining your team. That's really it. Uh, science does play a role in that against uh, sciencey types, but it also plays a role in um, going to, say, the nuclear power plant and trying to uh, disable it. And law takes effect if, say, you're going to uh, head to the courthouse and maybe rile up a jury, or if you have to defend yourself in court. Let's go ahead and visit all these people at their wonderful tables. Although, I don't plan on actually getting into a fight with any of these people at their tables or computers or what have you. I have no interest in doing so at all. Just want to say hello, it's a meet and greet. Uh, go ahead and drop a pickup line. <laughs> For funsies. Hello! Let's see, uh, go ahead and train up my seduction while I'm here. Will you marry me? Uh, I'm waiting for someone. What church do you go to? Jesus. Interesting church. What church do you go to? I go to your church. Group with an office worker, make plans for tonight. Fantastic. <laughs> you want to hear something disturbing? What? The police regularly torture minority suspects during interrogations. Only criminals have reason to fear police. So yeah, whenever you actually engage in these sort of witty political discourse actions with uh, with uh, conservatives, they'll reply with witty conservative things at times. Unless you're so awesome, super cool with your persuasive efforts. You usually can't lure them into conversations. Uh, the best way for you to handle them is to kidnap them or to seduce them. Uh, by the way, that previous track was The Bounty of a Brain, a Metroid remix. This is Chained to a Barcode, a Hitman Codename 47 remix. All right, all right. You want to hear something disturbing? Patriots are idiots. Give peace a chance. Get away from me, you hippie. <laughs> Protests and demonstrations are regularly and often brutally suppressed in this country. People have to watch what they write, even what they read. Whatever. I uh, I'm not doing this out of the hopes if I get the success. I'm just demonstrating this all for it to you for those of you who are unfamiliar with the game. 
So there you go. The government's drug policy is a mess. We need to stop filling prisons with drug users and only intervene when people really need help. Drugs are a terrible influence on society. Lab tech? Sexism is still pervasive in subtle ways, and women make much less than they deserve for their labor. Why don't you go burn a bra or something? <laughs> oh, it was great. I <laughs> love it. Alright, you fucking kid. Alright, I'm gonna teach you to fear more than your mommy and daddy, punk. You afraid of going to a re-education camp? Fear no more. For you have engaged in fisticuffs with the elite liberal himself, Terminator Founder. That's right, hit my face to no effect. Fucking pussy. Grapple with you and hit your left arm in the process, trying to rip it out of its socket and then beat you upside the head with it. He giggles uncontrollably. So crazed by pain that he's incapable of processing his surroundings. So then I hit his right leg and he shouted a prayer. Please, Jesus, help me. The teenager sweated profusely, murmured something good about Jesus, and died. And then I became a socialist threat. 54 juice, a little bit more dodge. Fantastic. Sleeve! Talk with all of you. Should probably engage in another meeting at some time or another, and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this off. Again, peace to conservatism! I have no interest in seducing uh, most conservatives. There are a select few I might be on the lookout for. I'm just training my seduction so that when the time is right, the stars align, uh, Cthulhu can ri arise from her lay and wreak destruction and havoc upon the world. Tell that works right. Because it's been a part of my diet since day one. What is worth killing for, you might ask? I wouldn't know, because I never had any other choice. I have always followed orders. I'm taking another man's life. All I can say is, it's both easy and more difficult than you might imagine. I figured I would let uh, the hitman uh, take us out there. So then... In the harmonious carrot juice bar, I walked up to this fucking punk kid. Who's a friend of that other kid I slaughtered yesterday? And then we enter the Shredder. That's what this is. Enter the Shredder. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles remix. All these are remixes except for the final song in the Lift Sox I did. He swung at me and he hit my right leg. Determined brat. Will you not? Glorious enough to withstand the might of Terminator Founder. I avoided your bitch attack with no difficulty at all. I smacked you in the face, and he spoke those final words. Better dead than liberal. Of course, only a bitch who died said that. All is as it should be in the world. <laughs> eh, nah, I'm good. Just wanted to get into a little date situation to increase my seduction. It's almost at four whole points, everyone. Oh my god! 67 juice? I'm getting up there, folks. I fucking love this remix. The actual original song that it's based off is really sweet, too. Hippies! Woo! Do you want to hear something disturbing? What? Take a breath and think about the world we live in, and we're spending hundreds of billions on new ways to kill people. That is has to stop. Oh, really? Yeah, really. After more discussion, he agrees to come by later tonight. What church do you go to? You're disgusting. Time for the music to break down, folks. High school dropout, 13? Ma'am. What church do you go to? <laughs> <laughs> I should feel terrible, and yet I don't. No. No, I definitely want to, don't want to fight a musician. I'm pretty sure the guy who nearly killed me was a musician, so I've, uh, I'm nervous now. I've been scared away. That high school drop out there, though? Go back to school! This is a violent gangster here speaking, a socialist threat. Brush your teeth! Floss your gums! 
Be responsible. Always call your parents before you stay out late at night. High school dropout shivers silently, whispering a prayer that all is still. Well, my work here is done. Away! Hey, Downey kind of regrets agreeing to this. But she found... Oh, I explained my views on immigration. She found my views to be insightful, and she'll definitely beat me tomorrow. And all those other people. Eh, not really interested. He's the conservator's home! Alright, just had to pause for that. 82 juice! Not bad, I'm rocking and rolling here. 40 counts of assault, 4 counts of murder. Woo! Spring break. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, pop on over to the Morning Express Latte Stand, because why the fuck not? Let's go ahead and uh, see if I can find some individual conservatives. Of course, this is after I attempt my seduction. Do you believe in abstinence education? Yes. Yes, I do. Sweet, level up. Now, that secretary there who turned me down. Fucking bitch, you turned down the mighty Terminator founder. I'm gonna jump kick you in the left arm. She seems lost in her memories. Memorize this, bitch. Well, there you go. Shouldn't have turned down my date. <laughs> Fucking music, it's breaking down, everyone. Strength of 10. It's a very strong secretary. Would not want to fuck with her. God damn. Guilty of only three, though. Murder and violence. All is as it should be in the world. 95 juice. Doing better. Getting close to getting a full point of law. Science, though, is not going up that far. This is Ghost of Mars, a Doom remix. And again, uh... Credits, given where credits due in the video description, and links for you to download all this free music. Goddamn right, free music. Alright, let's go ahead and scurry on over to the Tofu Rainbow Vegan Co op. What kind of fucking pussy name? Oh, wait, right, I'm supposed to be tolerant. I'm a liberal. Yeah. College student? Nope. Not interested. High school dropout? Nope. Uh, how about that musician over there? Woohoo! She's interested. She wants my bot. That's how that works, right? Mutant! Ah, well. Prepare to watch. Elite liberal justice in action. Not as graceful as an awesome jump kick, but I did punch him in the face and knocked out ten of his teeth. Then I leapt for cover. Staggered and woozy from the blow, he was unable to line up his shot. And I kicked him in the body and began losing faith in God before he crawled off whispering. There was no one to save him from me. And now. Go ahead and keep out the keep the regular group here. And we'll just go ahead and keep breaking it off. I engaged in violence. Oh my god! 46 counts of assault and 5 counts of murder. 98 juice, very close to a level up. Beautiful! Let's keep it going! Oh, we're close to the end of February! Alright! Let's head back to the Tofu Rainbow Vegan, vegan Co-op. Yoo-hoo! No! There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, hit up that college student. Nope. How about the high school dropout? Now, oh, damn. Yippee! Have you noticed how people are working more and more hours for less and less money? It's all part of a plan to keep you enslaved, man. That is disturbing. What can I do? <laughs> no. Eh, that'll work. Oh, I still haven't gotten a date yet. Oh, good. She didn't have to die. But you there! <laughs> Surrounded by all those hippies. You can't camouflage yourself. From the Terminator founder. Silly pussy. You should have paid attention in class. Instead of listening to that religious music. Is God here to save you now? No he's not. And I'm a revolutionary. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and casually chat. Do 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 do. Just break it off. 
The events took place at the Tofu Rainbow Vacant Co-op. Further details are sketchy, but police sources suggest that the LCS engaged in murder and violence. Congress is acting on legislation! Ah. For liberal joint resolutions? None of them are gonna make it past Congress. For those of you who are unfamiliar with how the United States uh, government system works, uh, for these joint resolutions like this, uh, Congress doesn't stay in session forever. Instead, they get off their asses every now and then and are like, eh, I suppose we should try to pass some things before we head back home and eat waffles. Well, let's see what decided. Well, everything is arts conservative. I guess we'll put liberal bills on the floor for our constituents. And they're done. Uh, once they make it past Congress, though, then they have an opportunity to get to the president's desk. But none of them even made it past uh, Congress. So there you are. I got a profit. Fantastic. Good news, everyone. All right, 112 juice. Must murder. Must slaughter. Let's go to the park. Yeah. Very close to getting a full skill point of law. Hooray! Go ahead and then wait around here. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> uh, for those who are unfamiliar with the Arch Conservative Nightmare, when you have free speech at Arch Conservatives like this, you are really limited in what you can say. And so the brackets there are to denote the fact that uh, you have to say friendly and nice things, particularly with the, uh, the pickup lines, because otherwise it would be very entertaining. Also, a corporate manager? Mmm, this is going to be risky. Let's do it. Manage this. <laughs> That's how a matrix dodge, matrix dodge sounds, everyone. It sounds like a uh, fucking Roadrunner. This is uh, Mr. Z, a Streets of Rage remix. Knocked out 20 of his managerial teeth, and he prayed softly. And I kicked his face in, and he died. My work here is done. Away! Just continue with a regular chit chat. Have a hot date there. Go ahead and break it off. CCS Rampage! The conservative crime squad has gone on another rampage. And they got what they deserved. The events took place at the Ra Raban's. Oh, the Beast Raban? Raban's department store. Fortunately, the CCS thugs were stopped by brave citizens. Further details are sketchy, but police sources suggest that the CCS engaged in murder, violence, more violence, theft, and breaking and entering. It is known that there was a high-speed chase following the incident. Alright. And I thought I got a cheap suit from that. From punching out that corporate manager. Sweet. I approve. I'm gonna be getting that full point of law, I think, after another day of conversing with these noobs. Little nooblets. Let's head back to the Nano Pixie Internet Cafe. Cause why the fuck not? We need to get a date. Would one of you like to go out with me? Come on. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now I need to find a kid to beat up here by the exit. No. There we go. Grimace strikes a teenager and I hit his left leg. Level up. Level up. Level up. He grappled with me and actually hit me for a fucking change. This kid actually paid attention at school, because he's still in school. Then I broke his upper spine, and he made a stinky. Goddamn arch conservative free speech. I can't say what I really want to say in some situations. Well, my work here is done. Now I'm off to fuck your mother. Away! <laughs> Go ahead and talk with all these people. Hot date, break up. Kiss your conservatism. And, yep, there we go. Exactly a full point of law. Just what I wanted. Let's go ahead, and uh, next destination is... We're gonna go back to the park. Oh, I'm actually lightly wounded still. I'll be damned. I've taken a lot of little damage. And it's actually added up to me being lightly wounded, folks. Who the fuck knew? Let's go ahead and hit on these college students. Here we go. College student, hey! Well... Now that I have martial arts skill of six, I begin to gracefully strike at my foes. 
This instant was in the right arm, and he shuddered quietly, as if that was gonna save him from me. Better dead than liberal. Shut up and die! Away! <laughs> Goodbye. Break off all those meetings. Break you off as well. Well, here we go, folks. It's time for us to perhaps really get someone who's worthy of joining the liberal cause. With my nine counts of murder and 59 counts of assault, it's kind of a big deal. Head to the Bar Street Crack House. Now, the reason why I like going after mutants, there are a few of them. One of them is the fact that I find it funny that, you know, mutants are banding together to destroy the arch-conservative nightmare. It seems definitely fitting, particularly since mutants only arise in a uh, in an arch-conservative nightmare situation. As you can imagine, mutants are generated by the incredible pollution, you know, nuclear power, that sorts of shit. And uh, when their powers align, they can do great things. Uh, the other reason why I like to go after mutants is because they have a very high threshold on what their attributes can be. Uh, every other character you come across has a cap on what the attribute characteristics, like how many characteristic points they can have. Mutants do not. You can see very high numbers. I'm pretty sure it can go up from 1 to 20 starting off. And I've definitely seen, like, uh, mutants before with, like, an intelligence of 18 and zero juice, and it's like, holy fucking shit, that's awesome. And so, most of them tend to be duds. They have horrible characteristics all around, they just have, like, massive hunchbacks, they have Down Syndrome, all sorts of horrible genetic mutations that have affected their, uh, their brains. Not saying that Down Syndrome or Hunchback is inherently horrible, it's just whenever you combine and fuse all the various genetic mutations together, you get someone who has, like, twos and ones in every ability. And they're just not helpful for defeating the arch-conservative nightmare. Yeah, you gotta be picky with this shit. Kazook, something must be done! Corporate executives use giant corporations as a means to become parasites that suck wealth into this country and put it into their pockets. Or something like that. So, let's go ahead and uh, find two more mutants. Uh, what you're hoping for is to find basically intelligent people, and you can gauge that intelligence to a degree based on how they respond to you. You know, something like, Dear Me, is there anything we can do, or Gazook, something must be done? That's alright, but if you get one of those, uh, it's like, oh, fuck. In the name of the war on terror, we sacrificed our soul by letting the government torture and abuse human beings on our behalf. This is Red Waltz, a Doom 2 remix. I should have one more meeting needed. Come, come along, mutant. Come along. Mutant. There we go. Burning a piece of cloth is actually stigmatized in this country. You can love freedom and still hate what our government stands for. Locks, I don't think we can allow that. <laughs> now it's time to look for a date. I'm really interested in. Let's go ahead and uh, seduce crazy people like this. Gang members! And a gang member agrees to come along for the ride! Fantastic! Alright, Shane Wilcox feels something needs to be done. How should Grimith approach the situation? Spend money! Grimith shares a liberal think tank survey of top CEO salaries. Shane Wilcox found Grimith's views to be insightful. They'll definitely meet again tomorrow. Erica Quinn feels something needs to be done. Grimace shares a liberal policy paper inquiring into judicial decisions. And there's Brittany Cressow. Cresso? I'll share a liberal policy paper inquiring into judicial decisions, just like with that last bitch. There's Seth Goldberg here. Goldberg! So I shared a documentary on privacy rights. And uh, Rochelle Snow? I shared a documentary on the gay rights struggle. She found it interesting, and finally. Elizabeth here. Lizzie. I shared a hand-recorded video of police brutality. I have a hot date with a gang member. Wow, that's... That's horrible characteristics, but he is a conservative punk. I think his juice is actually the negatives. Someone had inquired why juice isn't called experience points. That's because, one, you know, XP is a conservative term. Uh, two, juice is one of those streetwise... 
you know, cool sounding things where it's your street cred, basically. It's how much respect you, you carry with you. The name. And three, it's a conservative term experience. <laughs> I don't have time for that shit. Let's head to the summer apartments. Have some fun here. Because why the fuck not? Been having fun this entire time being all risky and shit. Actually, what's my heat like? Zero for the time being. I don't think they've been alerted to exactly where I am just yet. Uh, that would be terrible. Let's go ahead and see if we can uh, pick up this uh, landlord here. Do you believe in absolute education? Yes, yes I do. Sweet. I, um, I tend to be one for seducing females and making them into my love slaves. However, for the purposes of super important conservatives, such as landlords, I don't have a problem with it. But, of course, my preferred ge uh, gender in real life is female. So, I tend to deviate more towards that, despite the liberties I am given as an elite liberal. Let's go ahead and leave, now that I've trained up my security here. I could go running into one of these rooms, try to pick up some loot. Uh, stealing items will carry you up to 200 juice, if memory serves, but there's no loot piles that are immediately closed, and I'd rather not risk it. Because it would be a horrible risk. I know I'm supposed to be playing more recklessly, but... Let's just wait until I get that landlord in my pocket. <sighs> One heart? Nope. Just gonna go ahead and break that off right now. Your agility could be high. I'm looking for an agility of at least nine. It's a big deal. This is a Nightmare Before Kefka Final Fantasy 3 slash 6 remix. Let's go ahead and we'll keep stringing you along. We won't spend the $50 on you, though. We won't spend the $50 on you, either. Are you? I, I think we busted with uh, this group, folks. This batch. Particularly you. Well, fuck. Ah, we'll go ahead and spend 100 bucks tonight to get the ball rolling. The landlord is quite taken with Grimace's unique life philosophy. In fact, landlord is Grimace's totally unconditional love slave. The self-nullifying infatuation of Brandon Yurkovich. I'm not gonna... Or Yurkovich. I'm not gonna rename him. He's a sleeper. A moderate. Not really a valuable character, although he is the first liberal to be indoctrinated onto the team. Oh, yes. That brings me up to one more thing. I will not be naming characters after any of you, so there is no point in asking. When the time is right, stars align. I will rename characters as I desire. You have no hope. Okay. Unless you give me tons of money. <laughs> it seems like a conservative plug. I have no problem with that. If you give me $100, by all means, I'll name four characters after you. <laughs> and it won't be fucking confusing at all. I'll have an entire squad devoted to you. I'll go ahead and keep you the summer apartments as a sleeper agent. That's our first sleeper. Effectiveness 20, eh, that's to be expected. Not in a very important position. And, you know, Brandon here was a moderate. However, the use usefulness of that position is such that I can now come here and... Oh, looky there, a map of where all the loot is. And unfortunately, there's no close loot piles here on the first floor. I definitely don't want to stray very far away from the exit. It's a bad idea. I am not ready to die yet. Not this day! Not on any other day! Go ahead and let this music, uh, song finish playing before I end this video. We will be surpassing the half hour mark. I'll get over it. Nope, I don't want to break the door. Okay! Whew, that was very risky. Especially since they're going to start looking at me suspiciously because I've actually looted something. That's what they start doing. It'll give me an opportunity to potentially train Disguise. So there is that going for me. Let's go ahead and lurk here by the exit. Uh, talk with that doctor. Get a date. You know, see, acted natural. Now the conservatives are suspicious. Now here's the point where I need to train up my disguise there a little bit. As you can see, I almost got a full point of it already. 
Fantastic. Erica Quinn. It's nope. Nice health, but nope. Definitely not Brittany, or Seth, or Rochelle, or Elizabeth. No strikeouts all around. Alas. But that goes, that goes ahead and takes care of this video, folks. Join me next time, where maybe I'll find a mutant worthy of joining the liberal cause. How about that? I'll see you then, folks. Take care.